Hey guys, my name is Tippert7 and today I'm going to show you how to change your key from this to this, a Wii update. I'm doing a Wii update of my key as this key, the old one I've got, the case is opening, it's crack and result. Keys are working finally, they're clicking as you can hear here. The spring doesn't work, you just have to hold it and just put your phone and that's it. See, you have to keep it tight as the case opening, uh, as you can see there. See, the key doesn't want to lock very much. Just have to put some pressure on it. So I'm going to show you to change this. I've got the key up here, which is nice and looking fresh. Or I can have nice and working. Fine. So, first of all, we need to take this key on the part. So, two are gonna use to do this. It's a twenty p. Uh, I call this triangle, uh, plus screwdriver, and then flat screwdriver. They're all nice and tiny. Well, we can show you every second. Well, fuck. Here we second. There. Right. You can see flat screwdriver one, and then second. So, I'm gonna use twenty p first. What we're gonna do is the Wii holder, as you can see there. You're gonna put your 20p or different coin, wherever it's fit in the hole. Put it inside and twist it left and right, nice and gently. Not too much pressure, you don't want to damage what is inside. You might feel, after opening, you might feel that the spring has some force on it, so keep it strong so it doesn't pop side nice and easy actually what we're gonna need from this it's the motherboard as you can see there that's this motherboard you don't want to touch the wee parts here as they're easy to come out just grab it on this nice and gently lift it up don't put too much force. If you cannot come out like my one, just try to wiggle left and right nice and easily. Try to not touch the them chips as they're easily to break. Same as this one, so watch carefully. You might check if the pen's working. So just kinda click it with your nail. If you hear this. I mean it's working. If it doesn't work, there's no point in changing this because cost of it can be above 45 point. Uh as it's just for some motherboard and then we have to give the specialized to put the code on it, which is matching with your code in the engine so the the car can start. So I'm gonna put this just like this, sit on there, on the side. Next, what I'm gonna do, sorry, it's uh, there. We're gonna open this. I've got this holding on one screw. You might have it on the three in the start, and as well, you might have the plastic on it. You buy the key, which I've got up here. What you're gonna do, uh, just to show you, if the plastic is in, you put this that screwdriver inside the hole we notch as you can see on the plastic there I just want to focus for a second All right, the we notch here so you're gonna do is put your flat screwdriver here and just kind of pop it so it's gonna be like this yeah it's gonna be like this and then you put your screwdriver 
just open up and just watch whenever you open this as we have four plastics holding on it which is one two three and we have four tiny one which is the i believe so correct for the correct way it just pops in there then next thing you're gonna do you might have one screw and which i get it here or you can have three you just have to unscrew this make sure you hold the key very tight as the spring can have fours on it so unscrew this as well as good to use the magnetic one uh, screwdrivers as you can see my screw is holding there if you don't have it sorry my focus there uh, I'm just gonna repeat because my focus was not working you might have uh, screws up here three ready installed or one I got it here you just unscrew this hold the key very tight get to use a magnetic screwdriver as you hold the screw if you don't have it just put your magnets strong magnets just there and we'll do the same job for you so next what we're gonna do I'm trying to lift this up nice and easy see if this yeah this combines so just wiggle that's it and then to open further we're gonna use a batch screwdriver and see there's we notch we're gonna go nice and easily put it there left and right to not break the key and just push it further till we're gonna have open that's it keep it strong this might fly off as you can see the springs going by herself don't wreck this so after taking the key out and get your new key and the old key and go to your local mechanic shop or wherever shop cuts the key i went to my local as they're doing it cost me 20 point and you just cut it and then you can come back and do the next part which we're gonna do so we have the rubber piece here just for protection of the motherboard we're gonna leave this as it doesn't do harm just keep it corrected left this and gonna put this in the notch you have a wee notch here as you can see I believe so we say there so you can see more clearly If I can focus on it, yeah, there's a wing notch here. So that's the notch up there. Gonna have to be equal with this wing notch, which we have here. Here. So, what are we gonna do? match them together as you can see nice and fit and then as we don't have a notch in the back well because this one's aftermarket from ebay the original one so i'm gonna show it quickly the original one if you have it you will have the wee notch so you have to line it up with this one as well but i've got only one notch so Make sure the clicking parts are in the bottom, so when the clicker's working. So we line it this up, put it there, it's it nicely. That's on the side. So next one. And it's good to change the battery as well if it's old. What do we have here? I can pop it out. Because I do have a new battery as I changed it. Maybe two weeks ago. I'm just gonna still use this one. If we want to do now, store the key. Yeah. And try to find where's the plus and where's the minus. So 
that was plus and that's minus so minus going on this side and plus going on this side so what you're gonna do is put the keys for the new notch as you can see there's two notches and then the notch one like this try to make sure not hold the battery like this as you discharge it just hold it like that now it's kind of hard and tricky but don't want to short the life of your battery. So doing this, slide in and then just kind of pop it. And that's you. It's set in nicely, as you can see. So the next part you're going to do, you're going to take the spring, which we have here, and the key, which is the most important now. Make sure you have the right side down. So this side, as I have it, it's going down like this. That's your pen. And then my spring have a wee notch thing. There's a wee notch inside. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see it. It's got a wee notch where the spring have to get in. So we need to line this up. My case is like this. You can put the spring in, just gonna twist it. You feel the force doesn't sit in the place. So next thing we're gonna do, we need this part, the key, and there's a wee notch as well. Uh, a second, I put the focus on it. You may see it. Uh, in there. Now you can see clearly. I'm just gonna show you a screwdriver. There's a wee notch here. There's a wee notch. You might see it there. Yeah. That wee notch here. That wee part of a screw of a spring, which we have. It's all here on my finger. I have to get inside this hole. Um, if she comes out, you have to do the game. So, what we're gonna do? This thing's going inside the screw, inside the spring. Sorry, just going like this. And then, as you can see, my notch thing is inside. Just give me a second. Oh, put the light on this. Um, hold on. That's far better. Don't use this one. There. Should be good. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, you don't really see it. There, clearly. So, as you can see, there's a wee, oh, the spring is in the notch setting. So what are we going to do now? You want to go anti-clockwise, make sure the key is equal with the pen, like so. It doesn't come out like this, it's equal. And now, holding this, you want to twist it once. And hold like this. Make sure it's in the pin. As in, if she comes out, you can use this flat screwdriver and do it. But I would say it's better to do a game so you don't write the spring. So now the hardest part. Don't want to damage anything on this one. So I'm gonna go nice and easily here. Hold there. Try to make sure. The spring sitting in this one and the wee hole notch. So if you sit in there, you can do a little force, hold it like that. Next part, we want to put this back in. Let's have a wee notches, as you can see. One here, two here, and one third here. So we try to fit in nice and easy. That's it. And 
put the plastic in nice and gently. You don't want to wreck anything. So what we're gonna do now? Just keep it tight. I'll put one screw here. Not not gonna tighten it very fully, just to hold it. That's it. And now you can check the key if it's working. Make sure you still hold it here, because the screw is not very, very screwing very much. It's just kind of for holding. And then actually, keeps popping nice and easily, as you can see. Focus it down. It's holding there. That's us. So we can screw the screws now. Don't screw too much as that's into plastic. So we can break. And you want to do a cross fitting. So say this one, that's two, and that's three. You don't want to go one, two, three. As the case is not going to hold very much. So, tie this up, not too much, we're going to tie it after just to hold. That's it, so whenever you feel the force on it, just stop it. Don't want to rag the plastic fitting with the screw. That's it. Now you put the plastic in. The we circle nut is going inside. Wait a second. Yeah, we plastic nut which I've got here. If you can focus it, just give me a second. Turn the light off. Yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, so that we nut to go inside the wee hole where you can see it here that hole not there hole so you want to line it up with it line every single pin and just kind of click it nice and easily a second pops this this That's it, and that's your key ready. That's your new brand key. You want to hold to this key as well, because when we sell the car, it's good to have two keys. Because say for example, this key, you're going to lock it at the, at the car. You can still use this key to open the door, but you cannot start the engine as we don't have the manual system, which is inside this key now. If you want it, you can pay extra money and do this, but there's no point of it if you don't need it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you on this old key how to put the spring in. So you have the wing nudge as well. I'm going to put this in. I'm not going to do actually full spring because this guy is, is broken. From inside, so you just kind of gonna have to twist it again on the wheel holder here. It's gonna go like this, and then twist there. I don't have that kind of option. So my key is wrecked, it, so yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do is just is to pop the key there, so it's sitting there and holding. Sorry. It's um. going from here. Oh, I sorry. You have to go from here. I was wrong. 
you go from here as you have double notch so two lines one and two so you go here then you go uh, other way here the keys open that's it and then just put this back to it and that's your key should pop out for you I don't for me it doesn't pop as a, the case broken and all but that's it it takes less than 10 minutes to do it and you have nice and key as you can see it well thanks for watching have a good day. Bye.